Just getting a start to day six. Dumped all day yesterday, just downpoured and finally started lightening up last night, 10 o'clock or so. But obviously the trail is still really, really soggy, which means all the creek crossings are gonna be high, but I think I'll be doable. It looks like the water's going down rather than up. But the forecast today looks like just drizzle on and off, so pretty stoked for that. And other than that, the rest of the week looks good. It's gonna be a beautiful day. these things all morning. I'm wet. Lying in the field of bones Glass houses throwing stones Well, I think this is crossing number 356 for the day. Definitely number 356. Got some sunshine at the end of the day. Feeling good. Going across the bridge to the Big Piney now. Yep. That is a very, very, very full river. And I'm glad there's no wading across that or swimming across it or whatever the hell I would have to do. Friday and I got a fairly early start this morning. I think I got on trail about 7 30 
It's cold last night. I'm really glad it didn't freeze. It got close to freezing, but I forgot to bring my water filter in my tent. So if it would have froze, my water filter would have been out of commission, but all good. Oh, didn't freeze. Creeks are still looking good this morning. It's gonna be a beautiful day. The fading light of a long day. It was a 28 mile day with 4,300 feet of climbing. Really thankful for this bridge. And, oh man, just such a beautiful place. Now to set up camp and a plan for tomorrow. Morning of day seven, Saturday. Got an early start this morning. Got about an hour of night hiking in. Did about 28 miles to make it to the Buffalo River today, which my truck's on the other side. And it's still, unfortunately, really high. Talked to some friends. Um, and the gauges all show it's really high. So I don't think I'm gonna be able to cross it tonight if I get to it anyway, but that would technically be the end of this through hike. And then I uh, might have to look at other options from there to get out. But um, other than that, super pretty morning. Really brisk. Still not freezing, but really close to it. Ah. Good times. Final couple miles till reach the buffalo, the end of the trail. And uh, the last couple miles has all been uh, road walk. Really pretty. But it's murdering my feet. Saturday a.m. after spending a night on the other side of the buffalo to go down and it looks like now I can see ripples in the middle where I know that there's rocks 
So I'm assuming it's uh, gone down enough to at least walk most of the way across. So what I'm gonna do is I have my air mattress. I'm gonna tie my backpack to it. I've got everything inside inflated. So it's gonna be uh, uh, buoyant. And then I'm gonna tie a, a leash to the whole thing and I'm gonna walk across and kind of float that behind me. That way if I have to swim, I could just tow it along like a raft. In theory, we'll see if it works. made it. The life ship stayed together and uh, I only had to swim a little bit but man the current was so strong even when I was walking it was knocking me off my feet but that's where I came from. Awesome. Let's see if the truck starts. <laughs>